would like very publicly to give this to my good friend Karen, <laughs> who has just been such an incredible partner with us for the last six years. And the, <laughs> as I say here for you, I have worked with Raptors for 40 years. I am spoiled. I have the luxury of looking at a bird and just being able to tell what it is by the face or something, especially because I know what they look like up close. That is completely useless trying to explain that to the public. Karen has taught me how to teach ID, how to quantify it better. I see we're rounded at the tips, the beauties and the eagles. The windmasters, these are the ones you see circling in thermals. They seize prey pretty well, camouflage. The uh, malar stripe it, uh, below uh, the eye is narrower and not quite as, and not as black as on the American kestrel, but is still very, very noticeable. Uh, but it's so easy to identify um, the uh, prey falcon in flight because of the wing pits. Very, very blackish dark falcon. The, um, it's been described as the fastest animal on the earth uh, because of its flight speed, uh, especially when it is at any stoop. The tail of Cooper's hops. Oops. This one has such a long tail that the head looks small. Most of the red-tailed hawks that we have are light, light morphs, not uh, the dark morphs. Here's a juvie, brown and back, the dark flight feathers, and the pair of potassium, and just splotches, not the full pair. So as you can see, a turkey vulture, especially a male, is basically the volume and nearly the size of a male golden eagle with half the weight. Half the weight. The heaviest we ever led. 19, his eyes have faded to that beautiful amber color. First couple of years of their life, under seven pounds, scavenging, and his humerus, the head of his humerus, was knocked out of his shoulder girdle. So what happened is, it obviously sort of lays under half. Um, I was surprised that she still grew in a few brown edged white tail feathers to this type of thing. Um, she is habituated, is really what the terms that we use.